gamer here and I've noticed that some people are still having trouble installing mods and that my way actually doesn't work for everybody so I found out a bit of an easier way it doesn't require much much work you don't have to make new files you don't have to rename anything so it eliminates all that and it also but it does re actually it requires it, it does require MC patches for those of you who have it should be really easy for you and for those of you who don't just install it it's really easy it's gonna help you anyway but pretty much once you install MC patcher you're gonna wanna open it now let's say actually I'm gonna have two mods right up I'm gonna show you right now as soon as it loads alright so I have two mods water shader and optifine now what I suggest actually I'm gonna finish I'm gonna let it finish analyzing so I can work around with the options now once you have the mod you want, I suggest making a completely new folder wherever you want it. Just put it, and what you want to do: go to MC, MC Patcher, go to Mods, click the Add button, choose the choose the mod you want. I chose both of them. You're gonna have to do it separately, separately, because you can't really choose both. But anyway, uh, select the file you want, open it, and then you'll have it up here to to check mark pretty much. Now the one the one thing about Water Shader mod is that you're gonna when you download it, you have a file called Shader. And that shader is gonna have to go into dot Minecraft. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description of my previous video, but goes in, in in a bit of more detail. All you gotta do is just pretty much put the shader file in the dot Minecraft. That video should have more details about it. But the one thing about uh, right now, actually, water shader and the Optifine is that you can't use them both at the same time, which is very unfortunate. But anyway, I'm gonna check mark water. Uh, I'm gonna check mark water shader mod, and I'm actually gonna show you that it works. So, and then I'm gonna show you. It just how easy it is to switch between them. Now once you actually click patch on uh, MC patch you're gonna have a completely new version called whatever version you have dash MC patcher. You're gonna have to switch into that version. Now I'm gonna go into play and I'm gonna show that the water mod is working just fine and dandy so I can switch off to the Optifine and show that it's really that easy to just simply switch between mods. It should eliminate a whole bunch of hassles. You don't have to make new files, rename them, and all that stuff. That eliminates all that. All you gotta do is just put it in the MC Patcher, and MC Patcher will do all the rest. But anyway, let me show you. All right, as you can see, the water shader mod works. Water looks damn fancy, so I'm gonna exit right now. Go back into MC Patch. I don't know actually. Why did I close it? Hmm. Oh well. Open back up, and once I finish analyzing, I'm gonna check mark Optifine, uncheck water. I'm gonna click patch, and then after that, the uh, the Minecraft should disable water shaders and enable Optifine. Now Optifine, all you gotta do is just simply add it into the mod folder. While the water shader mod, you're gonna have to put in the shader file into dot micro. So if some mods are different than others. I'm gonna have to play around with them to know exactly how each one works. But this is for Optifine and water shader. So right now, I'm gonna install or patch. Optifine into my file, so let it work. It's magic. There you go. Go back into MC MC. I was about to say MC Patcher Minecraft. Go back into Minecraft. Still have your version of MC Patcher uh, enabled. Hmm. English language is failing me today. I need some food. Hmm. Food. Some spaghetti would be nice. Anyway, now. The one thing about Optifine is that it gives you a whole bunch of options for video settings. So let me see if it worked. Yes, it did. As you can see, Optifine is working perfectly. I can switch the rendering. I can go into quality, performance, other, and animations, and all that good stuff. So anyway, it's really that simple to just switch switch between mods. And if you want to do it, just uncheck, uncheck, click patch. But anyway, that's pretty much it. If this worked, leave a like, leave a comment. If it didn't work, leave a comment letting me know what happened. I definitely want to help. I'm 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 here to help after all. That's how I get views and that's why I get low subscribers. I'm here to help. So anyway, if it didn't work, leave a comment. I'll assist you. And anyway, this this is pretty much the easiest way I could find about installing mods. Just the one the one catch is that some mods are different than others, especially since the water shader mod requires you to put in the shader mod into the dot Minecraft itself. But anyway, other than that, thank you kindly.